Hey everyone, John Hansberg here with another Friday update for you. I uh, just want to do a re quick recap of the week, go over a few things in health related news and uh, get you onto the weekend. So here in California, we're progressing into the third reopening phase, which includes some bars and gyms. So if you're going to be uh, going to either one of those locations this weekend or anytime soon, definitely make sure to use uh, all the standard precautions that we've become used to. Um, as good as we're all getting used to trying to do those kinds of things to keep us safe, we are seeing that some of the states that have been opening up are seeing some increases in positive tests. So that includes the Arizona, uh, the Carolinas, Tennessee, uh, Arkansas as well. And the interesting thing about them is they're actually having both more positive tests as well as an increase in the percentage of positive tests. So that's not just them testing more people and finding more, they're actually finding more positive people per say 100 or 1000 tests they're performing. So just keep that in mind as you're starting to get back out there, either going to the gym or going to bars. Another 1.5 million Americans applied for first time unemployment benefits this last week, according to the Department of Labor. Uh, while that's down from the peak of 6.9 million in late March, that's still millions of people who are relying on aid. In Chicago, surgeons performed what's believed to be the first known lung transplant for COVID-19. A young woman in her 20s had been in the intensive care unit on a ventilator and life support machines for about six weeks before her doctors decided to perform the double lung transplant procedure. In other healthcare related news, a study found that people who leave hospitals before their doctors discharge them are twice as likely to be readmitted within 30 days. Astonishingly, one in five of those people are readmitted within one day. This is compared to just 6% of people who, are, who leave a hospital under doctor's orders. Join us next week for a webinar with Hector Barreto. He's a former administrator for the Small Business Administration offices of the US. Uh, he's gonna be going into greater detail on loan forgiveness as part of the Paycheck Protection Program. This is the third video in the series, and in the previous two, loan forgiveness has been the most frequent subject for questions from the audience. Uh, he's going to be doing this with us on Wednesday, June 17th, and I'm going to include a link in the show description.